recorded um, somewhere around um, November 15th through 20th, 1982, and all these recordings are made in just fun. Alright guys, uh, welcome back to, I think this is week 5 or week 6, I can't remember, uh, it's just been going so fast, you know, okay, so anyways, let's let's just dive right into t today's uh, lesson here, um, and I, okay, so first, first thing I want to say about this lesson is that this is going to be kind of an advanced session here, so if you're not confident, and uh, your skills at this point and I'm making it look a little too easy on here maybe that's some of the feedback that I've gotten um, just go back to the the first second video third video where it's a more basic lesson maybe that'll get you up to speed okay with that being said um, let's let's get more specific on today's lesson on exactly what it's gonna be okay okay so um, as you can see here, I've, this is a picture that could have been a really great picture had it not been photobombed. Okay, so I'm, I was doing this. I was doing this really great um, lesson, uh, teaching people how to paint this awesome picture here, and uh, it got photobombed by this person. So. Oh, man, you know, it would be great, but if only he wasn't there. So I'm going to show you how to eliminate him from the picture, okay? Okay, so um, you want to zoom in uh, and get a close-up of uh, the area that you need to delete. So I'm going to use this select tool up here. And I'm going to select carpet, this carpet texture here. Okay, I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna paste it. See, thus the deleting begins. Okay, you see how easy that is? All I'm doing is us using the control C and the control V function. Okay, so you don't want to use the same square every time, so I'm going to grab a different one here. Okay, and notice how it's going to look unrealistic unless I put the cabinet coming out here. So that's that's what I need to do. So I'm just going to finish the carpet here. Okay, that was pretty easy, right? Now um, we have to do just the same thing, but with the cabinet over here. line up the lines perfect you see how you see that oh my oh my gosh look at how that could be any more perfect right there okay I don't want to brag about I don't want to I don't want to brag I shouldn't do that but you know you can you could, if you just practice and do this every day you too could be able to pull off great moves like that continue that up there easy little speed up trick that you can do right there you see that you just stretch it out to make it take up the whole thing now I actually really enjoy that part right there so I'm gonna copy it and paste it again Okay, now, you see, I need to stretch this one up here. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, because this kinda, yeah, you don't wanna, uh, it's getting a little too close in there. Okay, so, um, things moving right along here. 
All right. Um, uh, you might not have. You probably didn't notice this, but um, you know, with I've got a lot of experience, so I I can see these little details here. Um, you see how that like that's kind of unrealistic that the bar is coming out there, like, but it's not finishing. So here's what you can do. I grabbed the pencil tool and I just went in like this. And do you remember, you pro okay, you, you should, yeah, you should remember this tool, the dipper tool. And I'm gonna grab this um, and fill that in, but I'm gonna grab a, a thicker, a thicker brush here. Now, I'm getting really nitpicky here. This is, you know, again, I said this is an advanced lesson. And, you know, let me know in the comments maybe if this is a little too advanced, like too detailed. Because you guys probably didn't even notice these little mistakes. But I'm going to fix them anyway because, you know, it couldn't hurt. It couldn't hurt you guys to uh, see these uh, to see me actually go in and do like kind of like more a more professional level uh, I got a song on repeat here so hold on okay so I've already started a little bit here but it's another uh, little way you can make a 3d effect is using a light color and a dark color in this case it's a light brown and a dark brown and I do the dark brown on the bottom to create the shadow illusion. And these are illusions. It's not magic, but they are illusions. Okay. And again, you know, just details here. Not that important, but you know, I'm kind of perfectionist. So uh, let me get the rest of this here. I think this thing. I don't remember actually what this looked like. But I think we'll just make it go back like that. It's like a book rack or something. This isn't a library. Okay. Okay, so let's get zoomed out here. You're probably getting sick of looking it up that close. Okay. Um. What else? Oh, I can't. Okay. Actually, you know what? It's looking pretty great. It's, I would say that's actually done. So let's get a before and an after picture here for you. All right, so I got you a perfect view of uh, the before and after picture. So this is the bef before and af after. Uh, so yeah. Um, you might have to watch this video a couple of times for it to really sink in because I know I moved really fast there and it's pretty some, some difficult techniques. But um, I think uh, anyone with the right amount of practice, you know, uh, can do this. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, that's the end of the lesson here. And I'm just gonna do, um, All right, so uh, today is kind of a special day because uh, um, it's uh, my friend Dietrich's birthday, and uh, he's also a fan of the fan of the program here. Um, so he said, "Hey, you know, it's my birthday. Uh, could you could you uh, roast me on your channel or whatever?" And I was like, "Are you sure, man?" And uh, he was like, yeah, dude, just, just do whatever. And I was like, okay, man. And so I did it. <laughs> and here we go. You consider yourself roasted, Dietrich. And everybody wish uh, Dietrich a happy, happy birthday.